Yeah, good morning again. Um, now we've been learning a new um, horn pipe called the Paddy Faris horn pipe. And uh, well, all Paddy Faris tunes are very interesting, lovely tunes. Um, and uh, he lived to nearly 103 and uh, he was a farmer. But these tunes are absolutely splendid tunes. But um, now in learning this, with the rhythmic impetus of it, as you know, a hornpipe, um, well, particularly an Irish hornpipe, is not meant to go fast by any stretch of imagination. But it, but it's got to be a dance. It's got rhythmic interest to to create the energy, as opposed to speed. Um, but I, I'm taking it this speed, about 126. Um, but uh, but the th thing is, when you're learning tunes, you know. Um, um, you really got to get them under your, every note has to be in its place. Well, when your version or whatever version you're learning, especially with the band, um, if you start making variations, you've got to do that after you've learnt it, a version of it, and see where you can vary. Because if you lose yourself in the tune, you're going to lose the whole thing. You're going to lose the beat. Um, if you try and play something different, or if it's a mistake, um, some mistakes you can get away with. And others you can't because you 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 run the risk if you don't put a triplet in or put a triplet or leave a triplet out. Um, you really got to think where you are in the tune when you're doing this. Um, so when you're learning it, try and stick to a version, worked out version, and then then it gives scope to to vary it or adjust um, your playing of it with other players. If you're playing along with a banjo. It's always a help. I'm going to use the piano as a as a backing track, as it were, um, and then then afterwards I will play it with just a metronome and see the difference. It's uh, I think, and also you've got to totally relax, totally. If there's any tension coming on here, um, or if you're worried about something about the tune where the tune's going, the violin would know. It will make uh, odd sounds and it won't be a clean sound. Um, so, so we give this a go. Thank you. 
Piano. Now we're going to do the metronome. Slightly good. time we we'll play it without the metronome and now this is the, you, the playing on your own um, you're totally dependent on your own rhythmic impulse so you just got to get those people dancing so it's, and a one two three <laughs> you notice the final version it was getting faster out of time but but the, the, the thing is with that if you're in the real situation with dancers they as they get more enthusiastic I think it's going to naturally get faster anyway so but you know it's having it's having control over tempo and to pull it back funny it's having that control and uh, if um, and that's the thing uh, you but you know, with, a, with pop music and uh, whatever, you've got electronic beats, um, are very, very controlled um, electronic beats, uh, discos and things like that. There's um, the, the pulse, the beat is always very, very prominent. But um, with other genres of music, such as Irish fiddle, um, timing is how are you, how we feel it, how the dancers feel, and how the general atmosphere of the place feels and you've got to be totally relaxed about it um, to play it at any speed um, and to do any and to eventually do some variations or, or adjustments I would say to the way other people play it so 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 there's a consensus of how it's played and, and uh, performed okay thank you very much for your time mm -hmm.